Hello, my name's Kim. I'm a herbalist and storyteller, and I'm out on the north slope of the Sussex Downs on a February Friday morning. And a storm is due to come in quite strongly this weekend, and so maybe you can hear the wind picking up. But the birds are still singing. There's some tits and some crows, and we can hear maybe the trees that is going to start to clack more and more and um, there's the ivy the wind rustling through the ivy and the yew trees and the holly trees and actually it's quite um, it's nice when you come out on a windy day really windy day if you ever put your ear to a young ash tree there's something very fascinating <clears throat> to listen to you know, there's something quite precious when we allow ourselves to connect and immerse and be part of, of understanding our true natures and being in nature. And his poem that I rather enjoy, and I hope you do, because it gives us fruit for thought. Stand still, wherever you are is called here, and you must treat it as a mighty powerful stranger and ask to know it and be known. The forest breathes. Listen, and it answers. I have made this place around you, and you may leave it and return again, saying here, no two branches are the same to wren, no two trees the same to raven. So if what a tree or bush is lost on you, you are surely lost. Stand still and let the forest find you. That's by David Wagner. And apologies um, if I got that slightly wrong. It's a long time since I uh, memorised that, so sometimes the words slip and slide. But even even that is allowable if we allow the fluidity of <clears throat> human growth that we sometimes mend and meld and change stories and poems to fit our moment respecting always the creative uh, sanctity of the person who first wrote poems like that you know i'm going to walk on now the dog is hiding behind the tree looking at a stick so i better throw that for him and i'm going to walk home down, well I'm going to walk home heading into the wind and then down eastwards